Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. This is the community choice painting video where I now and again whack up a poll when, <laughs> when I have a chance and get you guys to pick what I'm painting. And this week we are painting the Warlord Games hover pod van machinery from their Judge Dread Warlord Games I Am The Law game for 2000 AD. That's a bit too much waffle, so let's just get into the video. Uh, this was a massive slab of resin. Uh, if you've not seen the unboxing, go find that. I'll try and put something up in the corner for you to just click on. But this was just a lump of resin. I was pretty intimidated to paint it. I painted the taxi. And though it came out okay, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It has very flat areas, as you're now seeing on this windscreen. And as somebody uses speed paints and contrast paints most of the time, this is not easy. It makes it very difficult to paint. Speed paints hate flat surfaces. They like areas with detail. And as you can see, the paint is very wishy-washy on a flat surface. It is. I'm trying to make sure I don't get lines. I'm trying to make sure it's all nice and smoothed. But you can see it's a little streaky. It's struggling. Even in the recesses, it seems to be struggling. This has been primed white, yet I still seem to have, I don't know, some sort of resin grease on it that's probably fought off the primer as well. Stuff is strong. But anyway, we're going to go back and forth. I am using the Army Painter Speed Paints, the version 1, I guess they're called now. And as you can see, after a few swipes with the Magic Blue, I did finally get a smooth-looking surface on it. But God, was it annoying. I then grabbed the Zealot Yellow. And I'm going to go around picking out all the headlamps. Now, those of you who have been following the channel for a while, thank you very much. I hugely appreciate you make sure you join me over on discord so that we can uh, share photos but i have some terrain and a whole set in, in my sector 102 where my games are set and the business is called kidney hut obviously based off pizza hut and i have a little restaurant shop already built for it i have some characters that are connected to the shop as well so I decided this truck should be the delivery van for for the product. I don't know why I decided that. This kit comes with some amazing transfers. I could have made this a hearty house van or recycle. There's plenty of stuff I could have done. But I used the word kidney hut when I was describing them, what I was going to do with it. So we are now locked into this idea of it being a kidney hut. Which led me down this whole rabbit hole of looking at kidney hut vans, uh, pizza hut vans. I, I completely lost my train of thought there. Pizza hut vans. And I found a cool scheme that I liked. It was kind of this off-white van with red panels. The logo was on it. It looked very uh, 80s, which is what I feel this hover van should also look like as well. So that was the theme I'm going for. We're going to have some red paneling on there. But... Ultimately, it's going to be this kind of off-white, grey colour. Logo is on panels. I'm probably going to have Kidney Hut written on one side and then Sector 102 on the other. Try and throw a kidney shape onto the little side door that it has. And then hopefully I'll have a great terrain piece at the very least. But also my Blood Packers, which is my main block game for Sector 102. They have links to the Kidney Hut Corporation. So I can imagine them also using this on missions. It can hold a lot of people. I think it holds up to six passengers. And that's going to allow me to do maybe some getaway driving in a game. Or we could do an actual speed chase. Judges on a lawmaster chasing down the gang after they've robbed a bank. I think this is going to add some depth to the game for me. But as you can now see, I've got the lights done, got the windshield done. I'm now putting down Holy White, which ultimately makes a very light grey. It doesn't make white, it makes a light grey. It's perfect for picking out shadowed areas. And then 
you highlight over it with a nice white and it will give you a lovely white finish. But if you just use it on its own, it makes a very nice light gray, which I think is the color that I'm gonna try and go for. I have to see how it dries up. As you can see, I'm just really focusing on where there's depth on this model. So luckily each panel seems to have this nice little line on it. I'm just gonna have to work my way around this model. Like I said, it's a big model. It's a big chunk of resin. This is gonna take me a while. So we will skip forward a little bit. And through the power of editing, the gray is down. You can now see I had a little accident with the yellow. I put my thumb in one of the, uh, the lights and then smudged it onto a part that is gonna be red anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Talking of the red, we grabbed the blood red from Army Painter and we're going to slap that down now and start filling out all the colors so I can see what it looks like. I think once this red is down, I'm going to leave it alone overnight to fully dry. Considering it's such a big chunk of resin, there's not an easy way to hold it when speed paint needs to dry. So I'm just going to get this red on, sit it down, leave it alone. That's, I think that's the best option I've got here. So, the future of this channel. Things are changing. Things always do. I'm struggling to keep up with, what, five days a week of posting. So I might drop down to four days a week. Just so that I'm not feeling as pressured and stressed out about it. Uh, you might see the return of computer games. I had moved them off to a different channel, but... That just seems more hassle than what it's actually worth to me. I'd rather have everything on one channel, I think. I took advice from people. I should have just kept with what I was doing. Do it my way. <laughs> it's always the best way. So Compute Games will come back to this channel at some point, along with the odd Pokemon stuff. If you don't enjoy that stuff, you don't have to watch it, and I fully appreciate it's not everyone's cup of tea. But... If it is, please watch it. If it's not, just skip it. Come back. There'll always be Judge Dread. There'll be at least one 2000 AD video a week, at the very least, and it will usually be a painting video. Uh, I'm going to keep Tacticus on this channel and keep him Warhammer on this channel. So Warhammer Wednesday, Tacticus Thursday, 2000 AD Friday, and then there's going to be some random stuff for the rest of it. I think that's the best way to do it. So if that sounds like you, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or an energy drink, feel free to hit up the monthly club. It's two Canadian a month, which is not a huge amount in other currencies. So if you feel if you feel generous and want to buy me a cup of coffee, consider hitting up that club. I've got a couple of cool members that have already been buying me coffee for the last few months and I truly appreciate them thank you very much and then also down in the comments section there's going to be a link to the discord chat i've been testing it out for a few months on the members and it seems to be working nothing's broken uh i don't seem to have any spam bots or any crazy crap like that that i was fearing about so if you want to join discord use the link below and I'll see you over there. It's a great place to share your photos with me. And if you are happy with me sharing them on this channel, I will start posting a few images in the community threads part on YouTube. Now I'm going to start showing off work that I'm inspired by from the community because there's tons of you out there creating some amazing stuff. And I really want to start showcasing it. I want this to be a proper little Judge Dread hub along with other stuff. So that, I feel, will definitely help me achieve that goal. So back to the model as I've finished waffling on. We are now trying to make the panels stand out a bit more. I left it to dry overnight. The grey settled pretty nicely. I now just want to panel line everything. This is going to be super annoying. I am using uh, the grim black mixed with a little bit of Gravelord grey to make a slightly darker grey. As you can see, I'm just going to go around, slowly panel line everything, trying to make sure it's nice and wet so it doesn't uh, 
get ch too chunky when I'm trying to brush it on. And also just flow nicely into the, the lines. But this is very time consuming. <laughs> this probably took up as much time to do as painting the model with just the base coats. As with most of my projects, it is only tabletop ready. I'm not going to go in crazy details on this. It's probably going to be used as terrain 90% of the time. Uh, so it's going to be in background shots. So I'm not too worried about going too crazy on it. Future goals, of course, is to go back to some of my models and take them to the next level. But let's be realistic. The way models get released these days and there's always something new and shiny, <laughs> they'll probably sit in tabletop ready standard for a long while. But it's a nice project that I can just pick up and go back to when I'm feeling the urge to paint a vehicle. I think ultimately the only stages I would want to do is just dirty up some areas. Places like the air intakes, the door handles. I just need to put like a, a brown yucky wash around them just to make them look a little bit dirty, dusty, that kind of thing. Right. This is going to take a while. As you can see, I have no idea how I'm even going to hold the model as I'm going around. So let's jump forward a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Right. <laughs> it is now panel lined. And I think it looks beautiful. It's not 100% pretty. It's not 100% neat. But it looks great from three foot away. And I'm really happy with it. I then grab the only Citadel paint I'm using on this project, and it's the Pallid Witch Flesh, which you see me use all the time. I love this paint. I'm going to use it to write the signage on one side, the Kidney Hut, and then Sector 102 on the other. I'm also going to try and paint a kidney shape on the door. So I made sure I loaded up the brush. I used a lot of water and mixed it with quite a bit of paint. So it is still quite thick, which is why I'm able to get the detail. My brush looks heavily loaded and I fully appreciate that, but it allowed me to make a point on the brush that could I could control and write with. This is completely freehand. I wasn't entirely sure how I was gonna space it or even write it. <laughs> so I was quite impressed. I impressed myself with this one. By the time I was finished, I was genuinely happy with how it looked. Obviously, I could have printed transfers, made it look a bit professional. But you're on the wrong channel if you want professionalism. This is Adventures with Peps. I do what makes me happy. <laughs> uh, other projects that i got coming up whilst I'm doing this freehand. I'm looking to build out the sector map using RPG guides. I've talked about it for way too long. I want to make a guidebook that I'm going to probably give out to members to play around with as well and have a look through. It will have all the character stats that I've made up for the RPG. And then I want a nice location map. I want locations now, so I'm thinking I need to start drawing. I'm going to have to try and draw some areas, draw a map, start rolling up buildings all that good fun dice rolling stuff if you want to see that recorded let me know uh, the first one i'm gonna attempt to do is a little island out in the sea near the sector it's going to be a mute home to the muties that i'm building and so i'm going to roll up using the cursed earth settlement rules but that's something that's going to come up soon i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's a lot of me talking we're at what probably 20 minutes but I truly appreciate you guys stopping by. I love hearing if you enjoyed a video or not. And I want to know, do you want to see me rolling up stats for buildings and sector details and all that kind of stuff? But until then, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm on holiday next week. So hopefully I'll have some videos still to pop out. But if not, see you soon. Bye-bye.